Well, the announcement today from Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. They are opening the impeachment inquiry across the entire House. And before the formal vote comes later this year, early next year, the House will have to do some investigating. We spoke with Sandy Hook Congressman Scott Peters for his reaction to the announcement today. Well, I think it's the right thing to do. I, You know, back in June, I thought we should start the inquiry process based on the Mueller report, obstruction of justice, and the cooperation with Russia on the campaign. And I just want to emphasize, I think it should be a fair and judicial and non-political process based on, you know, whether the president has committed crimes against the country. It shouldn't be about his political positions, which we can agree on or disagree on. It shouldn't be about, you know, personal habits, whether it's Stormy Daniels or his tweets. This particular inquiry is about whether the president has committed crimes against the country. And we have a new issue that came up this week with respect to whether he withheld aid from a country as an inducement to get them to go after a political opponent, which would be quite shocking indeed. The latest here that people are talking about in D.C. is the phone call with the president of Ukraine. But as you mentioned, you thought this should have happened beforehand here, before the whistleblower's report in August. So this is kind of a culmination, perhaps, for many in the Congress and others who are saying this is the time now to move these proceedings forward. A lot of people thought this was a significant enough new development. Here's something that happened while he was in office. You know, not all of the issues in the Mueller report covered when he was in office. Some did, some didn't. So um, I think that, uh, you know, and the notion that he might trade, you know, use as leverage American foreign policy for his own political purposes, I think would shock everyone. Now, I'm not saying we know what happened. I, it's important that we do an inquiry. I think it's important we find the facts. But Gosh, if that's the kind of thing that this president is doing with American foreign policy, I think that he should resign or be impeached. What is the process like now? An inquiry now underway could be months' worth of work on uh, the congressional side. What happens now, and how long do you think things will take? I'm not on the committees that are focused on this inquiry. You know, I'm on the Energy and Commerce Committee and the Budget Committee. I'm still going to focus on my work. But for the Judiciary Committee, which is the primary committee of jurisdiction, they will have to decide you know, what witnesses they want to call and, and how they want to proceed and, and whether at some point they would recommend articles of impeachment. They would vote on them in the committee, and then they would go to the House floor. After the House takes action, if they approved it, if the House approved it, it would go to the Senate for a trial, and that would be fairly historic. It would be the third impeachment of a, of a U.S. president if that did indeed go forward. Um, but you mentioned the Senate, and the Senate is controlled by Republicans at its core. This is a political process. It shouldn't be a political process. I mean, look, if it's a political process, we've not done our job. Just look at this issue of whether the president used American foreign policy to as a lever against a political opponent. That should shock everybody. And, you know, I think you saw today in the Senate vote that they want the report. There was no dissension in that. That passed by unanimous consent. At some point, there's got to be some line that we all can agree no president should cross. This seems like a candidate for that kind of behavior. Tomorrow, the president says he will release the transcripts of that phone call. Might that change anything? Or now that this is moving forward, it could be part of the investigation. Well, clearly it could change it. You know, we've just heard what people are saying. So, I mean, I, I think we have to really get to the bottom of it and look at the facts. I think, uh, you know, the transcript should shed, shed some light on it. It would be part of the facts on which the committees would decide yes or no to go forward. So, yeah, it's important. It's important uh, part of the piece of the puzzle. I would just say again that we shouldn't go into this process for political reasons. We shouldn't avoid it for political reasons. The Constitution assigns to Congress the idea of deciding whether the president has committed high crimes and misdemeanors. And we should respect that Constitution assigns to voters choices about the personal style of the president, which you may or may not like, and its policies, which we may disagree on. Those are for voters. But it's not for voters to make these decisions about crimes. It's for Congress. And, you know, no one ran for office to work on impeachment. But if it comes before us, I don't think we should shirk our duty. San Diego Congressman Scott Peters reacting to the announcement today from Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, an impeachment inquiry into the president.